morning. It is another weekend. It is a rainy weekend. It is miserable out there at the moment. And this weekend is gonna start exactly the same as last weekend, depressingly, because I need to go and get the other tires done on my car, the back two tires. So we are just about to go and take my car to the garage now. And then I think we are gonna go and have a wander around the shops, although I can't spend anything because I have zero pence, literally. But I am gonna return a skirt, so. I'll probably, I don't know if I'll exchange it or return it. Maybe I'll just return it actually, because I found the receipt. I was gonna exchange it because I didn't have the receipt, but I've just found it. So that would be good actually, then I'd have some money. I got this perfume this week, if it'll focus. Yeah, I got this perfume this week and it smells delightful. And I am wearing a, let's turn the light so you can see me. I'm wearing a Tom Ford lipstick and it is so good. I've got two and they literally last so well they last through eating drinking anything they will literally last the whole day i highly recommend them the whole of the south has decided to come to basin state today obviously are you enjoying finding a parking space Love it. Pretzel stop. And, oh i can't show you but we bought my sister's birthday present and <laughs> have no one around the shop all right let's take we can Find the car. Do you think we're on the right floor? No. I think we are. I think we're on the right floor. And cheeky little Costa. Um, I have got a cup of Christmas, otherwise known as a chai latte. And this one has a hot chocolate with two shots of caramel. Too much sugar as usual. I guess the car. Yeah, we're not getting in. <laughs> oh yeah. We've parked like no space to get into the car because there's like no spaces. So we're really close to a wall. So we hope. We have to make sure that well, we have to hope that we can actually get in on the driver's side. He's parked really close to us. How how are we supposed to? No, I'm not naming it. Look at that gap. Right. Okay. Oh fuck! I've ruined my shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. It's white as well. I've never known anyone drink hot chocolate as fast as this boy right here. I was just holding both cups. Mine's like, we've literally just picked these up, so mine's like full. I swear he's got like a quarter left, that's it. Dad, if you're watching this, do you remember when we went to Costa and we're all like sipping ours, his is gone. I don't know how you do it. I just like Oh, I need to get the ticket. Who else do you want to share what you just shared with me? <laughs> I was just saying that I'd rather buy a skateboard and skateboard everywhere than buy a Honda Jazz. <laughs> it just really made me laugh. There was one in front of us. There's, there's, it's just such a shit car. Sorry, Honda. <laughs> yeah, uh, Honda, if you're listening. We're gonna buy a skateboard instead. I'd rather, or a pair of rollerblades. Or one of those hoverboards. I'd love a hoverboard. What, like our Back to Future? No, that's what they call those like new they things. Are. What do they call them? Hoverboards? I'm sure. Films. Yeah, but I think they're just called hoverboards. What are they called? Like the, the, the segways without handles. Yeah, segways yeah, without handles. Really. It's not very catchy, is it? Though, segway without yeah, handles. Oh, let me just get my new segway without handles. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not saying that's what they're called. Would you say there's a lot of cars you'd rather have than um, oh, no, you, a lot of people, people? People that drive bloody smart cars <laughs> can't deal with it. It's like, it's like um, you might as well just have your balls hanging out of your shorts. <laughs> <choice. laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> dinner time. What are we having for dinner? Chicken wrap. Oh, I thought you were going to sing it. Oh, very sorry. I wasn't we are having chicken wraps for dinner. And I got some really nice looking wraps. And we are having proper chicken breast. Because it is much better than like, you know, little pre cooked strips of chicken. Ooh, look, they look like pancakes. Look at my flatbreads in the frying pan. I'm talking to the camera. I didn't vlog our dinner because whilst it was yummy, it didn't look that great. Look what we've been to buy. Let me go into the light so you can see. My little bag of goodies. Pumpkins. I am gonna, we're gonna do cutting pumpkins tonight and we're gonna watch X Factor. Um, Ross has managed to leave his wallet. Oh, it's really dark. Ross has managed to leave his wallet around to his mum and dad's. So he's had to go back and pick that up 
So whilst I'm waiting for him, I'm just gonna set everything up. And I really wanna be able to watch X Factor whilst we do it. I don't wanna do it in the kitchen. We've got no telly in the kitchen. So I am gonna try and set up a little area on the floor and get out like a massive um, tablecloth and hopefully be able to do our pumpkin sat in the living room whilst we watch X Factor. going on in the male half of this household right now he is going in on this pumpkin <laughs> he's i've finished mine and he is like literally acting like it's going to be in a gallery somewhere no it's, i don't think it's that good though i just like to you are putting a lot of effort in do you want to show everyone your pumpkin what's his what's he called <laughs> it looks like it's your head actually you fold it in like perfect place it looks like Go ahead. And then my pumpkin. Do you want to put him I down? Oh, I thought you were going to talk. His name's Fred. Hi, Fred. He looks like your pumpkin's got hair and it's your hair. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> Ross went for something a bit more artistic and um, adventurous. And here's mine. This is my pumpkin. He's supposed to be like a geeky pumpkin. And he was supposed to have two eyes, but- I'm sorry. <laughs> he was supposed to have two eyes, but one of his eyes fell out, but he has like geeky teeth. And I don't know if I can make it look like my head. Mm, up a bit. There you go, up a little bit more. Yeah. I have a little round pumpkin. You have a long face pumpkin. Let's light them. Look how good they look. Ross, turn the light off a minute. Ooh. How cool are they? Did you add it to it? No. Why is that rubbish? Because you left your rubbish there and I put it oh. in there because I wanted to get rid of it. Anyway. Halloween. Now we're going to finish watching X Factor, which is just like going on for forever. Good morning. Today I am a lone ranger again because ross has gone to watch the nfl in london and i am oh my god i'm wandering around realizing how much rubbish there is hanging around my living room so i've just got a few things i need to get done today i have to go food shopping um but i'm not doing anything exciting so i'm having like a barely any makeup day um yeah, I need to go food shopping. I'm gonna go out now and get that out of the way. I have I feel like I haven't watched any of my TV programs for like two weeks, so I'm gonna catch up on some telly. I'm gonna have a bath, sort my fake tan out, expect a fake tan look later on today, <laughs> and hopefully sort out the house a little bit and just use my Sunday to feel ready for the week ahead. That is what the plan is. Oh, I need to edit the vlog. I need to probably check my work emails just to make sure I haven't got a million and one things to do in the morning, which I will do anyway, but um, yeah, that is the plan. Extra hour in bed this morning, absolutely loved that. I thought it was next weekend. I would have been so confused because I, d I literally had no idea that the clock's changed and I wouldn't have even read it anywhere. We don't watch the news, so we wouldn't have found out last night that the clock's changed this morning. I was for sure that it was next weekend. So we would have woken up this morning and our phones would have changed themselves anyway. So they would be like the right time. But we'd have just been really confused when we saw like the time in the rest of our house and um, like we'd be really confused while we were awake so early. And it, yeah, that would have just been so confusing. I'm now home and it's time for another orange juice taste test. I don't think this one is gonna be as good as recent orange juices that I've tried. Um, this is the innocent smoothie one. It's not smoothie, it's just orange juice, but I don't think it's going to taste like an orange. Disappointing. That actually tastes kind of not nice. Time to put my shopping away. Here is the results of the big shop. Went to Asda. I actually wanted to go to Tesco today, but I didn't have a pound for a trolley and I hunted high and low. I checked all of our coat pockets to see if there's a pound anywhere. There was no pounds, so I went to Asda, which is fine. Um, and I'd like 
not been in there long, I was in the first aisle and a pigeon flew overhead and I was like, I was like, oh. <laughs> probably looked like a complete idiot because it like flew at me. But I was like a bit taken aback that there was a bloody pigeon in Asda and like, everyone was like, oh, pigeon. So then I, there was this Asda man stood right there. So I said, excuse me, like, do you know there's a pigeon in here? Like, did you know? And, um, and he went, yeah, uh, we're just waiting for pest control. It's been here about a week. A week? How can a pigeon be living in Asda for an entire week and they haven't got rid of it? So I, just, I found that incredibly strange. I am now going to have a bath and watch Mitch Jack's new video on, um, well, they latest upload on YouTube on the iPad whilst I'm in the bath. I'm gonna scrub all of last week's fake tan off and start again. So I imagine the next time you'll see me, it'll be a fake tan face. Oh, don't I look delightful. So bath done, fake tan done. I'm gonna make myself a sandwich actually, a chicken bagel in fact. I And I'm just about to sit down and do some editing on the vlog. chores for the day and it's time to actually sit on the sofa um how exciting what have i been doing i've edited the vlog i've done some ironing and i watched made in chelsea Ooh. i can't tell you the last time that i actually used a nail varnish because i always use my red carpet nails i swear by it i swear all other nail varnish chips on me and i just can't be dealing with it and i hate waiting for it to dry that said i'm gonna try painting my nails today with normal nail varnish because I have a new Tom Ford nail varnish. This one is Black Cherry, which I'm sure that matches. I'm sure that matches one of my lipsticks. Um, it's really dark. Let me see if I can get it out one-handed. And if the lipstick's anything to go by, then the staying power of this should be pretty damn good. If you're going to be able to see. This she looks black. Let me try and focus on it. Oh my god, you literally can't see. Okay. I promise it's not black. Um <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you'll be able oh I'm sure you'll be able to see the colour better when it's actually on my nails. Um it's like a really, really deep autumny colour. So I and I got myself a new base coat top coat because hopefully that will help with the staying power. So time to do my nails. The only thing I'm really not looking forward to is waiting for it to dry. Like I said, when I do my red carpet nails, there is no drying time. So this could drive me crazy. But I don't need to do anything until I cook dinner now. So I can just chill on the sofa, watch Shelly paint my nails. Oh, I look shiny. Isn't this delightful? I painted my nails and they just look black. It's not black. It's like a really deep purpley berry colour, but they look really dark. But it's gone on nicely. It's got a nice shine to it, which I like. I am going to make myself some dinner now and... Ross is not here for dinner, so we all know what that means. That means I get to eat wherever I want to eat, which I know I could do when he's here anyway, but if he's here, obviously it's just easier to make one dinner, so I don't bother making two dinners. If you didn't know, Ross is really fussy. So, anyone guess what I'm having for dinner? Steak. Um, but I'm gonna do kind of like a mini roast. I'm gonna do a steak, I'm gonna do roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, and broccoli. A update on my nails, also update on my life. Ross has just walked through the door. I was so confused, I heard the I like door unlocking he's not due back for like what's he got I wasn't expecting him back for like another couple of hours Saved you, uh, what are they Chris Prince. Oh, no, oh I don't know it's just a random box they sell them at the stadium nail update I've already damaged my nails nail varnish does my head in and it feels so late because it's so dark because the clock's changed it's literally those Yorkshire's look well good I feel bad because I've made a nice dinner and now he's walked in and I'm just about to eat my nice dinner. Um, yeah, it feels so late because it gets dark so much earlier. Anyway, my dinner is ready. Look how good this looks. Steak, roast potatoes, broccoli, Yorkshire puds. I'm actually going to end this week's vlog here. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next week. I've got poo in my hair. Anyone near me? She's the
morning everybody. 